You ready? Yes. All right. That was some amazing speeches. It'll be really hard to follow up, so good job, guys. Um, now, my speech may not be anywhere near as sexy as the rest of your guys', uh, but it is very important, and so I felt the need to share it with you today. Um, as I'm sure you all know, a fire has burned about 105 acres just off campus last Tuesday. And although the public is still not aware of the cause of the fire, this accident may have detrimental effects on the university. Now, a week ago today, I was lounging on North Mountain Lawn when people started pointing out a trail of smoke slowly emerging from the other side of the hill. Once I saw the flames, I knew that the campus could soon be in danger. As fire trucks and campus police raced down the streets on campus, I raced back to my room, hoping to at least pack a bag in the event that we would need to evacuate. But when I reached Sierra Madre, I, the street between the hillside and the towers was the only thing protecting my room from the flames. Now, currently no one is sure what caused the fire. Cal, Cal Fire and Slow PD are investigating, but haven't found any clear evidence. However, there have been many rumors flying around campus. This includes one that the construction crews accidentally started the fire, which implies that the crews were working with one or more code violations that would have allowed such a fire to actually start. Only problem is, these crews are contracted by the university, which means that um, the university could be partially liable, but we'll get back to that later. In contrast, a local news station, KSVY, reported that this was simply a spot fire. Now, if you guys don't know what a spot fire is, much like I didn't a few days ago, um, a spot fire is a fire that started from a windborne ember from a previously controlled fire. However, there are no other sources corroborating this theory. Unfortunately, this fire comes at no small cost. Cal Fire used extensive resources to protect the campus, including multiple aircraft. Cal Poly voluntarily evacuated Sierra Madre and Yosemite Halls without being asked to by any authorities. And according to President Armstrong, the evacuation was handled well by staff and students, and no injuries were reported. However, just off campus, on Slate Street residents, were ordered to evacuate their homes, leaving some students uncertain of their living situations for the remainder of the year. Now, remember how I said we get back to the university possibly being liable? Let me, get, let me get back to that. Well, if hypothetically the construction crews were the cause of the fire, those crews are contracted by Cal Poly and California State University. So not only would the construction firm be fine enough for the project to stall, but the university could also be at risk legally for uh, contracting them. If either party comes under legal scrutiny, the project that was only supposed to take a year or two could now take much longer than that, eliminating Cal Poly's use of Fremont Hall for many years to come. In conclusion, although the university handled the predicament superbly with their cooperation with the authorities, Cal Poly may suffer huge consequences. And luckily, over the weekend, the Tribune reported that fire crews reached 100% containment of the fire. And that's it. Are there any questions? No? Fantastic.